Okay, family. I'm back. Now, your girl had to go get my little fish fix and oysters and things of that nature. I'm back. And so, um, thing is, when I'm on the road, I got to keep the party rolling. You know what I'm saying? So, after I cut off that video, I was walking out the door, like, literally. So, it's like, now that I'm coming back, I gotta, you know, get back in the groove of what the fuck I was talking about. And, um, uh, shit. So, I'm like, whatever. So, anyway. So, I, I began to indulge just a little bit. Just a little bit. Not with a habit. Not with, you know, on some everyday. Not some... You know, I don't know what the fuck is going on, and the kids is just running amok, and they making a, a cup of noodles and motherfucking peanut butter and jelly. None of that, okay? None of that. So I don't want nobody writing me and talking about, bitch, you got kids. Yes, and you do too. And you and Tyrone back there in the room, time one on in your fucking till the midnight hour. So don't tr trust me. Hold off on all that. But anyway, y'all. Um, what else did I do? I went out a couple of times. Y'all, I went to this one place. Oh, my God. It was called the Tobacco Lounge, baby. Woo! You talking about off the chain. Oh, my God. And I went and um, me and Kenny went. And it was um, one of his friends was having a little function, you know. And by the time we got there, they had already cleaned up and left and all that other stuff. And I'm like, yeah. They left awfully early because we got there like, I don't know, 11, 30, something like that. And his friends was already gone. So I was like, man, you know, I don't know. Them some 10 o'clock news watching motherfuckers. I don't know. But anyway, y'all, uh, we um, went to this club and y'all, I had a ball. I had a good fucking time. And you know, usually, ladies, when you go someplace, it's always the ratio is, you know, uh, 10 to 1 or all these chicks and n not that many men and all that kind of shit. Well, on, uh... So, anyway, you know, it wasn't nothing like that. It was... I mean, it was it was motherfuckers in there with benefits. I mean, it was bras up in there like pensions. You understand what I'm saying? That's the shit I'm talking about. It was bras in there with the motherfucking button-down shirt, pointy motherfucking shoes on, and nice little jeans on, and, you know, all that. You know, nice little haircuts, and, you know, this, that, and the other, and ball heads, and kojaks, and all that, baby. And y'all know me. I like the calling card. The calling card means that you eat pussy. And that's with the motherfucking Gerald LaVert ass uh, motherfucking this, that, and this connected to this and this and that. Yeah. It was a gang of them up in there too, baby. Oh my God. I was like, ooh, this motherfucker look like Jerome Bettis up in this motherfucker. Yes. I was like, shit, bitch was... Shit, I was all on that motherfucker, baby. Anyway... It was this one guy, and the dudes, y'all, one thing about the dudes here in California, these motherfuckers ain't have, don't have no coof, and they have no disrespect, they, they have no respect for the other man whatsoever. It was almost like Ken wasn't even there. Bros was like, hey, how you doing, and my name is Jerome, and, uh, yeah, and I work for the county, and, uh, yes, y'all, yes. And I was like, you know, and I, of course, you know, I'm going to be, you know, low-key respectful. You know what I'm saying? Though I ain't forgot what you done. But, y'all, I was like, um, you know, I'm here. You know, I'm going to date. You know, I mean, <laughs> thank you. You know, all that kind of shit. You know what I mean? Teddy's was all pointed up and all this was all this and that. And all this was, yeah, I was that on that day. Baby. This dude, you talking about fine. This motherfucker at the club, and I did, we didn't exchange no numbers and nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? He saw me with dude, and he was like, okay, I'm going to keep it, you know, respectful. You know. You know. 
all that kind of shit. But I didn't meet him by the bathroom or none of that other shit. Wish I did though. But I didn't meet him at the bathroom or none of that other shit to go to get the digits and nothing, right? But he was so goddamn fine. Oh my god, this motherfucker was so goddamn sexy. I mean, my shit. I mean, just my shit. I mean, he just had Tina wrote all over his motherfucking ass. I mean, that was my motherfucking Christmas gift that was supposed to be up under that tree in there. He was that nigga. I'm telling you, I looked at that motherfucker, I was like, boom, bam. Oh, shit. Ladies, he was fine as fuck. And they had like this nice little VIP lounge and shit. And, you know, when we walked in there, because y- y'all know I'm always casually fashionably motherfucking late and I got to come in and the men all pause and all that other shit when I walk in the room. All that kind of shit. So it was already 11 something, you know. And when we walked in, you know, um, of course, you know, they didn't charge me. They didn't charge me nothing, you know. And so, um, so the, the manager, he came and so he was wanting to give me a tour of the spot and all this kind of stuff. Because, you know, I mean, y'all know. Y'all that know me, I dress up and I dress down. It's just my personality. You know, I, I'm not I'm not this, you know, double wig wearing bitch every day. I'm not her. I am on this Pocahontas, uh, low-key ass, old school ass feeler. You know, I mean, I'm, that's just me. You know, I don't feel like I have to be on every day. And that's what I call it, on. I'm not on every day. I like to just be on some comfortable shit. My mouth is raggedy. And and what's so crazy, y'all, is when people meet me, they like, this bitch is really for real. She is cute as a motherfucker, but her mouth is like a fucking sailor. You know, and it's like, I don't know. I mean, it's just, I, I'm just who I am. And now that um, we have come into the new motherfucking year and all that kind of shit, this is just what the fuck it is. You know what I'm saying? So if you're going to give me a show or whatever you're going to do to me or take me out the motherfucking brunch, this is what you're going to get. Now, pass me the uh, biscottis and the motherfucking uh, asparagus and spinach uh, dip. But this is just who I am. I can't, what, what the fuck am I going to do? What am I going to do? I mean, this is two teeny eats. Anyway, getting back to the tobacco line. So anyway, the, the the manager was walking us all around. He was wanting to show us the place and all that kind of stuff. And they had a VIP lounge in that motherfucker that was off the chain. I mean, off the meter, okay? Big screens in the motherfucker. Had the ottomans all lined all up. Whereas, you know, you got a big-ass motherfucking bed. I'm talking about where about four or five motherfuckers can fuck at once and ain't nobody feet dangling off. That kind of motherfucker. I was like, ooh, shit. And then on top of that, the bathrooms back there in the VIP area, they had showers in the motherfucking, motherfucking screens and shit all in the bathroom. And, you know, and in the women's bathroom, they had toiletries and shit that was free. And I'm bitch was like, you know, not saying that I am not, you know, that I ain't never seen that before, but it was like, damn. I mean, it was really cool. You know what I'm saying? It was really, really cool. And I was like, okay. Because usually under normal circumstances, you got somebody in there sitting in there in the women's bathroom and she want to hand you a tissue. She want to hand you some this and that. You need some FDS. You need some deodorant. You need to stick a gum. All that. But in their VIP area, no, baby, you going up in there, you need a tampon, you need a motherfucking carefree panty shield, uh, bitch, you need some uh, Altoids, whatever the get down was, it was just right here and was for free. So shit, since I saw the shit, I was like, no, give me two, three, four of those, and I will take one of those. I don't wear no panties, so I don't need you carefree, but I will take, uh, uh, just humor, family, just humor, just humor. Anyway, I got people coming in trying to message my ass. Hold on. But anyway, y'all. <laughs> but anyway, family. So, needless to say, I met the, the just the man that was my type. That was just all of that. That I want anyone to visibly see. And we didn't talk. 